long time no see. I uh, I wasn't able to go out in the last three months as long as I wanted to go out. I think I've been out in the last three months for about five times and things changed since my last videos so today is going to be something special there's something that I'm going to try today and it's a bit of a surprise and that thing is a new camera now this is the Nikon D500 with a 200 to 500 f 5.6 lens. I have a friend of mine that uses a camera. He was super excited about it. He's been using it for years and years and obviously the curiosity got the best out of me. So here I am. I have a brand new D500 with a brand new lens and today I'm out trying to find out how this camera with this lens perform in terms of the wildlife it's one of the it's considered one of the best combos uh, best budget combos for the wildlife photography and today we're here not only to try the camera but we're here to actually be out and about into nature and do some wildlife photography. As I said, I've been out a few times with the camera, so I do have a few photos uh, and I'll show you the quality of it. But today we are on the field and hopefully we get to see a kingfisher. So as soon as I arrived here, I've seen a, uh, a beautiful little egret. Now because a D500 is a DSLR camera, the focusing system on video mode, it will never be as good as a mirrorless. So that's another thing that I'm actually willing to try and... Oh, some action down there, some Canada geese just took off. Very noisy though. As soon as I arrived, a white little dot stood out down there so when I put the camera and looked through through the camera actually that was a, uh, a little egret so I've tried to take some video of it I'm really curious to see how it came out uh, on uh, on the computer and now I'm going to see what other birds I can find and if I can actually spot the computer Dragonflies flying about, and they're actually playing game. So I've actually got a few shots of them hovering. So I'll spend a few more minutes around and see if I can get better shots. weather is very annoying today it's very windy and the sun goes in and out of the clouds very often so it's really hard to actually select the settings for your camera and then don't change them uh, I've had a few photos of the dragonfly and I've also tried to take some video so that's going to be interesting to see the handheld video on a uh, crop sensor 
at 500 mil which is actually 750 mil only with the uh, s vibration reduction VR as Nikon calls it of the lens so that's going to be interesting uh, there's loads of new things I want to try and I keep getting distracted so uh, I'm going to move on from the dragonfly now and we'll go back and see if the kingfish is around I think I found your banner for Canada geeks because uh, let me show you. must be at least 300 birds there which is awesome to see to be honest So I came back from uh, to the first spot that I've stopped today, uh, the spot where I've seen the, um, the egret. Uh, after I photographed the dragonflies and I had a quick walk around, uh, instead of an egret there's a heron and now I've just seen two herons. So one is down there and one is flying about. It's very far away. And it's also very windy and I hope my camera doesn't fall out into the lake but it is very very windy I hope the audio is okay for this video right so it settled down a bit but yeah two herons I've also heard the kingfisher so I'm curious to see what kind of photos can I get while I was talking to you, the kingfisher landed in front of me. Uh, I've actually managed to take some photos and some videos, but I do have some reeds in front of me, so I don't know if it, they turned out as I wanted. But I can say that for a DSLR, I'm completely impressed with with the camera and the lens as well because it has a close focusing distance so you can actually use it not as a macro lens but as a close-up lens and because you have 750 mils you don't have to be really close to your subject so you do get really nice shots of insects as well uh, but now let's see if the kingfisher is willing to come back. Oh, I'm super excited. I haven't seen king, a kingfisher in ages. So hopefully, kingfisher will come back and we'll take good shots of it. Unfortunately, my visit got cut short because Mr. Security came in and said it's a private property. I don't know why, because I've been here so many times and no one said anything to me. Maybe this is a, uh, a grumpy one. Uh, 
but I'll go home and we'll talk about the camera and how does it feel, how does it act and if it's worth to get one in 2021. Also we're gonna look at the video quality and photos quality and I'm gonna give you my uh, thoughts on it. So uh, I'll get home and I'll speak to you soon. So I'm home now and I had a look through the uh, the videos and the photos from today's uh, visit to the lake and the kingfisher photos did not turn up as I would like them to and that's because I had those reeds in front of the camera so the camera was actually focusing through them and I had to use quite a little bit of uh, dehaze to uh, cancel that misty foggy uh, effect from the photos uh, but uh, yeah I'm happy how they turned out I'm happy with the video quality and I think I can say that after 10 years yeah it was 10 years since I had my last Nikon camera which was a D3000 it was actually my first DSLR camera so the Nikon was my entry point into the uh, uh, DSLR photography world let's say like that and then I moved to Canon and I've been using Canon for a long long time. In terms of what the camera does it's it's you can't go wrong with it let's put it that way the battery lasts forever compared to my uh, Olympus that I had in which I was I had to be really really careful and thoughtful on the the battery while with this I take it out all day and not even think about the the battery the lens is amazingly sharp I don't know how Nikon did it but is amazingly sharp it is heavier you can feel the weight but it's not it's not a, uh, a shoulder breaker or a neck breaker if you like to use the strap I'm not gonna go into details about the camera and how many frames per second and all the rest what I'm gonna say is my opinions on to the way I edit my photos so what I'm looking into is uh, how the dynamic range helps me balance the photo if it's a high contrast photo and I can't, I can't say I'm disappointed it's a brilliant photos I'll put some some of the photos I took last week uh, and you, you can judge by by the way they turn out it's they're, they're absolutely lovely and I think I might actually keep this set up for now and take it out with me everywhere and see how it uh, performs I love the fact that I do have a zoom range now so I can zoom out and zoom in and that helps a lot in composition focusing and overall usage of the camera because if you have a, a fixed focal length a prime lens uh, it's a bit more challenging uh, with the Olympus wasn't as much of a challenge because it was it had a really really close focus distance minimal focal distance and I was able to use it in, in different situations but in terms of zoom capabilities yes this is not an f4 lens it's 5.6 but it's absolutely amazing and I love it I've only been out with the camera for four or five times now 
but I'll try and get back in doing regular videos. Uh, maybe not once a week, but at least once a month. Because, uh, to be honest, I wasn't expecting to reach 800 followers with only, I don't know, 20, I have 30 videos on my channel, but loads of them are just short videos of what I film, not actually vlogs like this one. So I'll try and post monthly, just do at least one video. I'm pretty much running out of ideas where to go. I have received a few emails from uh, uh, a few that have seen my, my videos on YouTube and uh, gave me some locations uh, I'm planning to go out there if I haven't managed to respond to your email I apologize uh, just send it again to me and I'll I'll make sure that I respond to everyone and uh, thank you for all the tips that have been sent to me and I hope that you the, the ones of you that send me questions about the cameras or things like that I've uh, I've answered in a satisfactory way or at least it helped you make a decision if you wanted to go for a change so thank you for joining me today uh, it's been lovely to go out again and film a video uh, to be honest, I, I forgot how, how interesting and how challenging it is to go out and film a video. But, um, yeah, uh, I was really enjoying. And I'll, as I said, I'll try and make a video once a month at least to, uh, to take you with me and enjoy nature and wildlife photography. Also, if you are happy to meet somewhere we drop me an email drop me a comment and I'm more than happy to meet maybe we can do a video together and uh, find out new locations and learn from each other and that would be actually really interesting to do so again thank you for joining me today as well and I will see you next time <laughs>